Hi and welcome to another ink review. My name's Michael and today we're looking at an ink from the Mont Blanc range uh, and it is the Lavender Purple. Considered by many to be a premium ink uh, and rightfully so. This uh, ink retails for around $35 Australian uh, and it comes in a really lovely unique bottle uh, which glass bottle, uh, 60 mils of, of ink uh, and the bottle is designed to allow you to fill up uh, if you pull the the last bits of your uh, ink into the heel of the bottle it allows you for an, to insert the pen for a nice uh, deep fill past the nib. It's a This ink is a really lovely sort of uh, purple shade with some lovely violet colours coming through and a hint of, of blue in the darker sections and also if you catch it in the right light there's uh, the opportunity to get some nice sort of gold sheen on the ink as well. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, the chromatography of this ink and as you can see what we get is a nice sort of darker purple on the bits that sort of remain at the bottom and then some interesting sort of greys and dusty pinks and then into the purple but what allows for that nice sort of bright colour at the top of the ink is this pink that comes through uh, at the top of the chromatography. Let's look at some uh, writing samples and the and the tests that I've done of this ink. Now this was done on 80 gram rhodia paper with a, a Lamy uh, broad uh, nib in an all-star pen. Uh, as you can see this pen allows for a nice amount of ink to go down allowing for shading uh, and uh, on the right paper, even that sheen. I've also tried it in Alami Fine and Alami 1.1 stub, uh, and I think it performs really well across a broad, a broad range of nibs. As you can see from the, the triple pass, you do get some nice shading that comes through, uh, and particularly I like the more saturated colour that comes through uh, on the third pass. Saturation of this ink uh, is really, really great. Water resistance. Uh, isn't so good. It it does, you do lose most of the detail, though some remains. You it's not really enough to say that the ink is even remotely waterproof, and that is evident in the cleaning. It cleans out of most pens sort of very easily, uh, with you know just a, a basic sort of a washout. Shading of the ink is really good. Sheen, as I said, you can get a little bit of gold sheen, particularly on Tomo River paper, but uh, for the most part, it's it's a it's not a, sh a high sheening ink. The colour that violet purple and it does dry darker than it goes on actually. It goes on much pinker uh, and then it does darken into a nice sort of rich purple as you see here. Wetness is really really great. Uh, flow and lubrication is excellent uh, and the dry time is pretty good. On this radio paper it's about uh, 25 uh, seconds. Now we'll look at some uh, bleed and feathering and such in a second. But let's look at it on some other paper now. Here it is on the Tomo River uh, 52 gram and this is where you do get a little bit of that sort of sheen, uh, ever so slight amount um, where it pulls a little bit. Dry time is 30 to 35 seconds which is a little slower uh, but it is to be expected on this paper um, and as you can see from the reverse Apart from where we laid down a lot with the flex or with the, the, the cotton bud, you really don't get any uh, ble uh, any bleeding through on this paper and it really doesn't feather at all. Let's try it on some uh, more budget friendly paper. Here it is on the Reflex copy paper, 80 gram, uh, and dry time of 10 to 15 seconds and still no feathering and only a couple of light spots of bleed through where the ink pulled. And on the lowest quality paper we have it here is the Spyrex lecture pad uh, and dry time of about six seconds. It was really quite quick. It absorbs in really very quickly and there are a couple more spots of bleed particularly uh, as you can see over here with the numbers uh, but really it's pretty well behaved across the board. Bleed is excellent, only a small amount on the lower end papers. Feathering is none. Now the X factor for this ink, uh, I think is probably the color. Um, and I think it, it's a really lovely warm purple uh, when it dries. Also, you have to say, this bottle design is a bit of an X factor sort of in itself. It certainly makes a, a nice statement 
uh, as a well as an ornament even uh, and, but with that sort of uh, spot for filling it is a really lovely uh, bottle it's certainly one of the more fountain pen friendly bottles on the market so now let's go to the score um, we have color I've given this a five I really like uh, the color of this ink and the performance is definitely a five X factor yeah look a three uh, it's not got something that really makes it stand out uh, the color is great but is that really enough to sort of stand out over other purple uh, inks value is a three while it is a premium ink and you do get what you pay for in a lot of ways it is still much more expensive than a lot of other brands uh, easily two to three times the price of some of the uh, more budget friendly brands of ink so all those level out to a 4.5 but what I've started doing now is an impression so this is the 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 impression you get from using the ink and I give this a 4.5 I think it's a really lovely ink to use it works well in almost any pen that I've tried it in and particularly and the wetter pens the better it's dark enough to be professional it's got enough pop and vibrancy to stand out on the page uh, but it does just perform really really uh, well so that is the uh, Mont Blanc Lavender Purple a really lovely ink and from a really great brand you do pay a bit more for it but I personally think it's really worth it if you found this video useful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce please hit the notifications button and please feel free to drop me a message with any uh, questions or uh, any products you'd like me to look at uh, I'd love to hear from you if you're interested in the meantime enjoy your pens keep writing and I'll talk to you later